you know, be good things to happen. When I say Dwayne Carter, what pops in your mind? Nothing. You're like, no, you said nothing. Alright. <laughs> if I use his nickname, Lil Wayne, what pops in your mind? A rapper. A rapper. Alright. What else pops in your mind? Anybody, anybody. What else goes, what pops in your mind? What comes out of your head? What Young money. Your money. Get money? Young money. Young money. <laughs> <laughs> Hip hop. Uh, Hip hop. Okay. Alright. Um, several babies out of wedlock. Wow. Several babies out of wedlock. Wow. I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth, the truth is smacking. Alright, several babies out of wedlock. What else? Anybody else? Alright, but the same way that smacked me, this may uh, impress upon you. You know he has a bachelor's degree, right? <laughs> He's a college degree man in psychology. One thing that really impresses me when I listen to him, and I've listened to Wayne since he was the hot boy Wayne, you know, since the wobbity wobbity at New Orleans type of hip hop. He says some really motivational statements. He's very well read. You know, I understand that there's a gentleman here who likes reading Harry Potter books. Um, and likes reading and likes doing what? Japanese or anime or whatever that stuff called. He's a very well read man. A lot of the good rappers are very well read. They read a whole lot of stuff. And so this presentation is called Low Wayne Scholarship. Because he's a scholar. He's read a lot. And he's produced some bodies of work that have motivational merit to them. Alright, so I'm going to start with, I'm actually going to deal with just this specific song. Six Foot, Seven Foot. How many of y'all remember? Y'all know that song, right? Alright, alright. I'm going to pull out some of his lines and we're going to look at the motivational, inspirational, instructional messages that are presented in his lyrics. Alright? Y'all down with that? Y'all good? Just talked to moms, told her she's the sweetest. Now, brother, what it just said, respect your mother. Did he just talk about that, respecting your mother? And Lil Wayne says, just talked to moms, told her she's the sweetest. Well, in that line, he's saying, talk to your parents. Talk to your parents. He's a man. I talk to my parents. Why? Because they have some stuff to tell you. They have some love to share with you. So talk to your parents. You may not want to, you may not like the way they're going to respond to you. You know they're going to yell. You know they're going to get upset because you've done some wrong stuff. You know they might smack <laughs> But they love you. So he said, just talk to mom. I want to continue talking to my parents. Told her she's the sweetest. He's showing love. He's showing respect. You're the sweetest. Thank you. He's showing love. That's something that's important for all of us to do, particularly to our mothers. Mother's Day was just a few uh, weeks ago. So tell your mother how much you love and how much you respect. Lil Wayne does. And he's a multimillionaire. If you want to be a millionaire, you got to start doing what millionaires do, right? Right? Right, right. You want to be poor, do what poor folks do. <laughs> all right. He says, just talk to moms, told her she's the sweetest. I beat the beat up, call it self-defense. I beat the beat up. Now he's talking about this instrumental. I just went ham on. I went hard as a person on it. <laughs> he beat the beat up. He took the, the song and he put his all into it. So what he's saying to you is when you're dealing with a challenge, when you're dealing with an opportunity, it might be your homework, it might be a job, you know, it might be your responsibilities in your home. He's saying go ham on it. Go all in. Do your best. Do above your best. He beat the beat up. He's saying I went really hard into this song. And once again, he's a millionaire. Partly because of his ability to put his all into his craft. Now, I don't know what your craft is. It might be... Japanation, you know, uh, I don't know what that stuff is called. Oh what is it called? Animation. Animation? Alright, if that's animation is one of your callings, beat it up. Put your all into it. 
Because that, see the great thing, man, the creator gives you talents. And those talents will help you out of any problem. Listen to me. The creator gives you talents. And those talents will help you out of any problem. I didn't say one talent. I said talents. So if an animation is one of your talents, put your heart into it. Put a lot of time into it. Practice. Work on it. Beat it up. Because that talent will take you out of your problem. What were some of Lil Wayne's problems? Mom had some issues. Father's had a whole lot of issues. Grew up in a real poor, poverty-stricken area. New Orleans. Even though he was an A student. People around his way didn't care about A. Like, get that money. <laughs> you smaller than me, I'm going to take advantage of you. So he went ham on the beat. He did some other dumb stuff, and he did some other good stuff. But he tells you, I beat the beat up. Call it self Call it whatever you want to. Self-defense, you're protecting yourself. Protect your future. How do you protect your future? By putting your all into those things. Your studies. Your duties. Your responsibilities. Put your all into it. That's self-defense. All right? If it's your room, because you talked about cleaning your room. Cleaning your room is one of your responsibilities. You want your parent off of your back, that's called self what? Defense. Self-defense. Self-defense, self-defense. You clean your room, as the parent got nothing to say to you. But good job. Congratulations. You know what? Let's go out and get something to eat. Let's uh, go to a movie or something. That's self-defense. When you put your all into your studies and you come home with A's and B's, your parents aren't going to trip on you. Come home with some C's and D's or F's. Now you got problems, right? But if you beat it up, you beat that homework up, you beat that schoolwork up, you focus on it, you go ham on it. That's self-defense. Now you got all everybody off your back. You want to keep us off your back? Go ham on your hard work. Swear, man, I'll be seeing through these N-words like sequins. N-words think they he-men, pow, pow. The end. Alright, so he's saying, I'm uh, seeing through these N words like sequins. What's a sequin? Shiny thing you kind of see through. You know? So you got to develop the ability to see through things. Develop the ability to see things the way they are. If you got people around you that will joke on you because you like Harry Potter books or you like doing your homework and calling you whatever they want to call you, you got to see through that. See through it like a sequence. You got to see through that. What do you see? You see somebody that's putting you down. Somebody that doesn't want you to achieve. I don't care if they're your friends and they're the coolest people. If they saying negative things about things you're doing positively, they're trying to hold you down. See right through that. See right through it like a sequence. See right through it. That's not your friend. They bullying you because you involved in some other stuff that's not cool. But the other stuff that you're doing helps you go further. They ain't your friends. They don't care about you. Don't worry about them. You got to see right through them. And that's what Lil Wayne is telling you. In words, think they He-Man. You know, He-Man, great skull, he was a superhero, really strong, ah, really masculine, super macho. In words, think they He-Man, pow, pow, the end. Okay, you think you're big and bad? Boom! The end. What is he saying then? That if you think you're super sweet, then... I think you're super sweet? I got super something for sweet. you. The streets got something for you. The jails got something for you. Life got something for you. You think you all that? Life will bring you down. Pow, pow. It's the end. It's over with. Don't overestimate yourself and think just because you all this and all that, that you can't go down. Because you can go down. This man is brilliant. Lil Wayne is brilliant. He said some great things. You just got to extrapolate it. Pull it out. Talking to myself because I am my own consultant. Married to the money. F the world. That's adultery. Right. 
talking to myself because I am my own consultant. Talking to my, talking to myself. That's the use of mantras. A mantra is something you say over and over and over. You say it over and over and over. And what happens is when you say something over and over, it becomes a part. Anything that you do two or three times, if you do it over and over and over and over and over, it really can become a habit. How many people wake up and brush their teeth? Alright. It's kind of habitual, right? It's kind of a habit. Do it over and over, it becomes a habit. So he's saying, talking to myself over and over and over, I'm saying, you can do this. You got to be strong. You got to achieve. He's telling you that if you use mantras, if you use multiple impressions, if you keep telling yourself something over and over, you'll become what you tell yourself. Michael Jordan is a good example. Michael Jordan tried out for a basketball team and got cut. Didn't make it. <coughs> practice, 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 practice. Woke up 5 o'clock in the morning, practicing before school. Practiced with the basketball team when he finally made it. When he made the team, he was still going ham. He was still going up there early, practicing, practicing, practicing. Went to school, then practiced after school, and then gave his best when he was on the court. And after the games, he still practiced. What did he practice? The fundamentals. The dribbling. The passing. He worked on his game. Over and over. And a whole